Here we go. We got the music. Love it. Taking care of business. Back here with Joseph Machido. Here we go, Joseph. I got to finish the story. I met you. Nick was off on the playground practicing his lines. We went back. We put together a beautiful show. We raised a lot of money for the Bradenton Christian School, but we practiced like three times. And uh, you were there every show early and late. And you were up in the booth, right? Correct. Remember that? And My so, job was running all the multimedia behind Nick and you that was somehow supposed to keep you guys on track. But yeah. I don't know, Todd seemed to go where he wanted to go that night. <laughs> well, we, we, sure we, we, you, we turned, like the judging show. from that night and today, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's yeah, not much of like a track around show. here. <laughs> <laughs> but Nick rolled with it. He was great, and he wouldn't give me a script. He, he knew it, and that was good stuff. But we were so finite on the audio, and we had this big project projector and the this massive uh screen and we were going to have nick walking on the wire in the video behind us in like this 20 foot screen and it was a beautiful segue we were going to have and then right. the time of the show what happened well you know when nick talks about being prepared for everything i didn't always know it meant me too you know so that <laughs> when i walk in and after we practice everything with you know their setup and walk in and none of it works <laughs> so. yeah hundreds of people and that's a little poofery but hundreds of people there and it didn't work we yeah, were like so 20 we got, the, we got to scramble up there in the booth and i don't know we probably got it all working about five minutes beforehand which nick's used to with me anyway so I that know. was okay usually joseph doesn't show up till five minutes after <laughs> you guys start this anyways. is what i don't get about I th i'm like this business guy who prepares obsessively and i know you guys prepare but you're so loose and and Nick just hid. Be he didn't hide. He was in a room behind the. You were kind of hiding, Nick. Yeah, I was hiding. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, because of my stage fright, I guess. Where's Nick? He's where just really not used to being in front of. Where's people. Nick? And I was running back and forth with Joseph. This isn't working. This is, well, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. And then there's some guy crawling on the ceiling, trying to work some coaxels or something. <laughs> and uh, it was about game time. And then all of a sudden, Joseph pulls it out. Man, it was like he crazy. always pulls through in the end. It was crazy. It was just sometimes it's three or four in the morning when he pulls through with an answer to something, yeah, but there. he pulls through. I I will be honest. Nick dude. will see the timestamp on the emails. He is a man, <laughs> a man who wears many hats. Clutch, sure. totally clutch, and it was one of that's the right. most memorable times in my uh, short um, announcing career, or whatever I was doing. And so, Joseph, let's talk about you wear three hats. We kind of talked about this earlier. Tell me the three things that you do in your life right now, your entrepreneurial side, and. Nick and your engineer. Right. Just kind of explain your unique gifts. Well, we talked about, you know, I worked 17 years as an engineer, and then I took that two-year break working with Nick when I was full-time with him, uh, but then got back into engineering, but this time with my own company, myself, my business partner. Um, we're, you know, just, uh, just two of us have our own engineering company here uh, doing, uh, we are in the construction industry. Okay, so forgive me, engineering is pretty vast it's vast it's al i mean when i hear it includes choo-choo trains and you're choo -choo not supposed to have engineers in front of a microphone just so you know <laughs> well i know that's know. kind of why i think you brought <laughs> your 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 guy nick digging but, deep for the personality yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are you're doing great but an engineer can be al they can do lots of things right they're like drawings and they they're, design. they're the reason the world works okay so then we, what's your exact engineering uh, my and, focus is on electrical design for commercial buildings and large in sarasota you've got those houses that are large enough to be commercial buildings so a lot of times they get engineers involved with that and then my business partner uh, andy he does the other three uh disciplines you know basically we get the plans from an architect we design the guts for the building quick oh, question that's quick about question, the best way job to one. Say it. all the job systems good job question one. Are, is business going up right now is it leveled off is it dropping How, how's the construction business in sarasota area i mean we i are, see all those cranes downtown but what correct right now and uh, we actually worked on a couple of those buildings to see the cranes for but uh right now we're the busiest we've been in a, in a couple years really sure. Really? Joe, uh, what's the name of your engineering firm? <laughs> Here it comes. Kay. Here we go. All right. Thanks, Nick, for reminding me of that, <laughs> about the marketing <laughs> aspect. See, all the things I need to learn from him. You're on the radio. Years. You're on the radio. Uh, KAD Engineering uh, and Consulting. So the that, letters K N K A D. Oh, K A D. K A D. CAD, okay. basically. Oh, CAD. Okay. Yeah. K A D. Oh, CAD with a K. I know what CAD is. <laughs> yeah. you, do you do? Do you know how to use CAD? We were some of the first users of AutoCAD going back like 30, in your day, 30, 40 years. I'm allergic yeah. to CADs. 
So <laughs> Nick Wallen, now Nick Wallen is a funny guy. <laughs> He's funny. Spontaneous. Yes. So K A D. K A D. K A D. So so business is up. Business is moving. I and, would say so. I mean And why I, why'd you decide to start your own company? What was the reason for that? I think after uh, working so many years uh, in the one company, which I loved. I had a fantastic uh, em- employer. He's still in business, and we're still in touch from time to time. Um, he's just a great person to work for. But I think part of it was just wanting to try to do so- I think actually after working for Nick for two years and seeing him, do- and I can say this honestly. <laughs> I had to do wow, something you honestly. ruined him. All right, you no, ruined no, no. him, Nick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I, I think that no, you want to uh, be outdoors all the watching day. watching Nick, friends. you know, build, you know, a business. I think that there was a part a of me brand. that I'd like to try that. You built know? a brand, yeah, actually, unbelievable beyond just a business. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the engineering, and then you. I just forgot about the early start days of the business. You know, when you have to build it, and <laughs> the hard part. and the bills come in, and the money's <laughs> yeah. not there. Never yeah. been there. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so we did that. Then we went to Nick for the two and a half years or so. Correct. But you never really leave Nick. I don't no, think anyone I mean, ever leaves Nick. Right? Even when I, even long before I worked full time for Nick, two and a half years, uh, when he was in the early stages of his own uh, business and uh, performing, uh, there were a lot of times he'd send me over, you know, handwritten sketch and say, um, build it. You know, hey, I need you to, <laughs> this is, this is the layout I want for the, uh, the theme park that I'm going to be performing in this summer. Right. Uh, can you put it on CAD and, you know, make it look professional, no. send it off. Build it. <laughs> Build it. Yeah. Or, you know, this is, this is the booth I need for the trade show. Cause if, if you know, Nick, nothing is ever done simply, you know, it's always going to be the best, which I think is something else that, you know, hopefully I tried to learn from him. But, you know, when his, his booth at a trade show was made out of the trussing that he performed on, so here, I need you to draw this so that I can wow. show them what this booth well, is going to look that's, like. That's brilliant. So let me ask you this. Ready? You ready for this? Go ahead. <laughs> Have you and Nick ever had an argument? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Do you ever argue? No. <laughs> yes. You, uh, just, just a few times. Is really? <laughs> what? Well, I want to. I want to hear. Have a friend that you've been with. I know, I mean, but I want to hear about for, one one argument. For two years, we traveled together all the time i mean we were no matter where i went in the world he was right there with me in the plane seat next to me flying there the hotel room right next to mine uh you know he would show up generally half an hour before i did to every meeting etc so um that of was course 15 you're gonna minutes have, i have it in my notes still <laughs> of course uh, there are gonna be times where we have arguments uh where you know you're gonna frustrate each other well, there's no uh, question what, yeah. yeah what's just give me like an a, argument give me an ar- give me a topic come on nick Get something. Oh, what's you know, a good topic? Oh, I on radio. Give, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph give, I got it. it. Joe, give me one. What's Nick? But what's, Joe, but give him an argument of where you were mad at me. Yeah, like oh, why man. Nick? That's, like Nick does, he's gonna. He's okay. all about. Joseph's all about throwing himself under the bus. But <laughs> no, it's a good I want to pick on Nick. This, this is your time. Okay, you tell us uh, you what Nick. It. Just look, you Nick. You I think stop one of the reasons that Nick is so successful is because he's a hyper focused person. Right. Okay. On whatever he's doing. Well, when you're the assistant and you've got basically everybody. Begging you for your time and your input. And, hey, we need Nick for this or this or this. So my job is to somehow get Nick to actually put this on the schedule. Nick, I need you to focus <laughs> on this so we can get it on the schedule so these people leave me alone. So this, you know, as my assistant, <laughs> but you'll, get, you'll get hundreds of emails a day about <laughs> events and stuff. So go ahead. <laughs> I know. I said so, it like a hundred and one day for my little thing. Go ahead. Well, my phone doesn't Let's stop you know, chiming in. Get and Nick. These, these this people- is your time. Rise up. <laughs> get Nick. All right. These people, like I said, they they are they are incessant. They're not, and I've not learned, you know, to just ignore the phone. You know, it 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 beeps, pick it up. You know, and Could have uh, fooled me whenever I call yeah. him, you know? <laughs> Well, you know, I gave you a special That's ring, so I know when to do about, that. <laughs> But uh, as I said, Nick would be so focused on whatever task it was that he's doing to actually get him to sign. It didn't matter if it was picking up his kids from school or, you know, working, uh, you know, repairing something on the house or working on his next gig. I could not get him sometimes to just say, please get these on the calendar. <laughs> so that was probably the hard one for me, you know, and I'd I'd make a list of these things. And, you know, we finally the best best way we did is make a list of it. And then we just knock out like, you know, 
six, seven items to the calendar all at once. I had to learn that. You had I, to learn I'm that. very focused and, um, and I'm always scared to commit too far out because I have, I'll have a major, like a worldwide TV ex- event, for example, that'll come up a couple months prior to that. So I'm always like, no, I don't want to commit till maybe a week out and then we'll commit. Well, people are relentless. I live by three words, never give up. And apparently I'm Preaching to people He's that inspiring that, people. Yeah. So, yeah. That, <laughs> that, so there's reasons. That listen to that. So there's reasons why you do what you do. It's just they're not always clear to everybody else. That's that's right. That's right. I think and that's, frustrating <laughs> to others too. I think that's why we're lucky we got them both today because, like, seriously, I talked to him yesterday. Right? You did. I did. I, I literally talked to them. I talked to Joe. And, Joe, and that's the best way to do it with yeah, me. And as, and Nick, I called Nick and said, "Hey, Joseph's going to ask you something, maybe." And uh, and he uh, beat me to it. And I beat you to it. <laughs> and Nick called me right back, and he said, "Hmm, I don't think I'm doing anything. Let me check and, with Joseph." And Todd got frustrated because I didn't listen to his voicemail. I just called right back. <laughs> <laughs> I was groveling. What, I'm not. I'm not good enough for you to <laughs> listen to my voicemail. Well, I called you back. I mean, at least I didn't screen it. All right. So you know, you got to be honest with the world. Did did my name pop up on the caller ID? It did. Absolutely. It was it under Butchie. It was or, under. It was uh, under Todd. Todd we Sarah. actually we actually saved the phone numbers people we deal with, but you already admitted yesterday or the day before that my phone number was not oh, saved. The in truth your phone. comes out. What, I'm, it, I'm, no, that's uh, not. I, yeah, Joseph, no, you, you, I showed it. You, to you asked me for my phone number so, so wait, again, Todd. No, no, no. I had you saved in my phone with your email. <laughs> And here comes, I, the, here comes the poopery. <laughs> here comes the yeah. poopery. Yep. And it said, and what I apologize to you about was it said, Nick will lend his assistant. And then I explained yeah, to you, you why. That? why that's like my poor wife is always Nick will lend his wife. Well, that's, what I, first brand met of her own. that's what I first met him. And uh, I had to have a I think we got to go to commercial. It's that time. I'm hearing the music. Nick's running the show. Why is it always <laughs> my guests take over? WSRQ. Business Radio, exciting and now educational. Thank you.